So what we're going to do as a church, body, family, is uh, we're going to, every year we take up a special Christmas offering for those who are in the field, you know, global and local missionaries that that we're partnering with. And so we're going to do that again this year, and you can do that online or on December 12th. We'll, We'll just have a big celebration of that. But you can give all the way through, starting now through the end of the the year. And then we'll disperse that at the beginning of the year. So for the next few weeks, you're going to hear about different partners that we're partnering with and different ministries that you might not know about or hear about very often. So I'm going to invite Rob and Donna Ottenhoff to come on forward. These are missionaries in Thailand. And uh, we get the great privilege of being able to hug on them for a few weeks more, and uh, they don't get here often, but uh, glad they are. Now, we go way back, and uh, so here you go, sir. This is Rob. This is Donna, and you guys have lived in Thailand for 18 years, just as long as Tammy and I have been here in, in Nevada, so we, we met back in, in Indiana, where I was pastoring before we came here and met these guys, and God did something in you because at the time you were just a physical therapist, occupational therapist, you were a massage therapist. She does a great job. (laughs) It's like the best I've ever had. Um, So before you leave, I'll set up an appointment. Yeah, I'm getting off sidetracked here, yeah. but anyway, so something happened while you were in Indiana worshiping on a day like this, a normal day, Sunday, that something happened in your life that caused you to get up out of Indiana and leave your jobs and go to Thailand. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, okay, I'll, uh, I'll try to explain it. And uh, I was praying a bit about this, you know, what to share and how to share it. Um, and God reminded me of a scripture that he used in my life um, early on. And uh, it's in Galatians, Galatians 3.8. If you want to look it up, that's fine. If not, we'll just talk about it. Um, where Paul explains that the gospel was preached beforehand to Abraham. And, uh, and it says the gospel that he preached to Abraham was that all the nations will be blessed through you. That's what he told Abraham. And I remember at that time I thought, how is that the gospel that we preach in church? You know, um, And that passage obviously comes from... from um, from the covenant with, a- with Abraham in, in Genesis 12. And it says there that God will bless Abraham and through Abraham all the nations in the world will be blessed. And so it has two aspects to it. The part where God blesses us and the part where we bless the nations. And all of that together is the gospel. And it actually says in some translations, I will bless you so that you can bless the nations of the earth. So we are being blessed with the purpose that we can bless the nations. And so at that time, that became like, to me, like eye-opening, like this is the gospel. And um, at that time, I experienced church, I think probably the same as, as a lot of us experience church today, where we come and we see God's blessing. And it's good that we see God's blessing. But I think there's a whole second part to the gospel that I think we miss. And if we can seek that second part with the same intensity as where we are here this morning seeking God, I think the world would look different. And so that's how God, you know, brought brought me to like, I want more of God's blessing. Just as I sense like you want more of God's blessings here, but there is only a limit to how much we can experience God by seeking his blessing without doing the second part. And so I think getting involved in being a blessing to all the nations I think will open the door to experience the blessings that we're really seeking. So, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go overseas to go on a journey, you know. <laughs> you can go to the hospital and visit somebody. You can go across the street and go across the tracks and make a difference. Donna, you have a foundation down there. You've been down there for 18 years. Uh, I know you can answer this one as well as Rob, so I'll let you handle yeah, this one. Probably. Probably better. Right yeah. So in the 18 years, you guys went down to work with a group, a people group in, on the Malaysian border, the Patani Malay, an unreached people group. And since then, there's been a lot of other things that God opened doors to. Kids that you've adopted and ministry partners that have joined you. 
And so now you guys oversee a foundation with I don't know how many workers. So tell us a little bit about the foundation, a little bit about the work you're doing throughout Thailand, you know, and how many people you're touching. Go ahead. Okay, the numbers are going to have to come from you. But it's um, seven teams we have going now. We have gray hair, so now we oversee and train more than we are in the villages. And we have younger people out there in there in the villages more. Um, but we do have one project, and I'm skipping everything else because I'm so excited. We have waited probably 15 years to work with a specific people group. So we took in, there was a, a child on the street that came to us from a, a refugee people group, and we tried to adopt him legally. That didn't go through, so we just raised him as our own. And that actually multiplied into up to 10, 10 kids we had in the house at the time. So we've wanted this people group. We asked the Lord, hey, can we have this people group? They're completely unreached. They're radical Muslim. Can we have them? Can we go for them? And for all these years, we've gotten no. You can raise the kids, but you can't, you can't go further than that. And about a year, year and a half ago, we started getting the green light. And we started getting open doors, and we started getting access into the refugee areas along a border I won't mention right now but yeah so we can go so I'm very excited about a, a new project that we're starting now we drive about five hours through the mountains and we have access and connection to a an unreached a new unreached people group so we're going for that hardcore when we go back yeah, yeah. so Rob pick up from there um... Can you, can you name the people group? Um, yeah, yeah, Rohingya. So they're a, they're a Muslim people group from Burma, uh, Myanmar. But there's a significant population living in Thailand. Um, because they're so persecuted in their own country and they don't have citizenship in any country, um, stateless people, um, there's, there's quite a few of them in Thailand. You guys probably read about it and heard about that in the news, um, how their refugees have been going up to Bangladesh because they're being exterminated and you know, not just persecuted, but exterminated. And, uh, and so these are the kids that these guys have been working with. And so we're hoping to develop a team there. Like this is our backyard. These are our people. And uh, so we're gonna take a group of folks over in May, we hope, for a little exploratory trip. Huh? We're just gonna keep them. You oh, you're gonna keep yet? them? <laughs> you can keep them. <laughs> um, so anyway, just be praying about this and this work that we're engaged in. Um, and uh, we're going to throw some coin at it, but we're also going to throw some lives to you. We're going to throw prayers at it. We're going to be teamed up with you guys. You know, we've been connected for 25 years until the Lord comes back. We're going to do a great work over there. Yeah. Okay? If Anything I can else? just uh, encourage you real quickly. Um, yeah, so there's a team going in May for people that are really interested to give their life to, to the nations. And I know that that seems like maybe to some of you a really big step. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, that was where we were, were as well. We were just sitting in church and, um, and God mm -hmm. started speaking to us about this. And I don't think you will grasp fully what God is doing in your life until you're part of that. And like Dan said, you can do that anywhere. Um, but, and I do not fully disagree with that. But I want to say <laughs> there are people here that can give people that don't know the gospel. And there are places in, in the world where there is no people that can give people the gospel, and you can be part of that. Mm -hmm. And so your, you know, the unbalance of where the gospel is shared and how many people can share the gospel compared to here is, is, yeah, is, yeah, is huge. Well, Father, thank you for Rob and Donna. Thank you for the work and that they're doing there, that you called them there but uh, to be your representatives, but you've sustained them there. Uh, and very little. Uh, they've been faithful, Father. You've opened doors now to this people group, and uh, we look forward to what you're going to do. Lord, we say yes to you and all your plans. Use us to share your goodness and your, your grace with those folks. Bless Rob and Donna as they're here for the next three or four weeks, Lord. Raise up a people in this day and age here at Outlook, across Reno, Sparks, and every church, Lord sons and daughters who you have equipped, you have created uh, to go. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, you guys. Love you. So you got three weeks more to hang out with these guys.